Hey, there it is, huh? In all its glory. I mean, this is an artist rendition, of course, or whatever, because they couldn't just give us a real picture for whatever reason. But uh, can't make it up, man. A Russian satellite could soon be the brightest star in the sky. And don't get that, don't let that fool you. It's not the Russians' idea, okay? It's fake juice Saturn's going to run everything. And they've been at this for a long, long time. I'll show you that in just a second. Depending on where you are in the world and when, the brightest star in the sky, night sky is likely to be the binary star Sirius, also known as Alpha Canis Majoris, also known as Dog Star. The Dog Star. And if you didn't know this, true story, um, Keanu Reeves, you know, Mr. Neo, um, his band long, long time ago was called Dog Star. And as a matter of fact, um, Weezer opened for them. A uh, long, long, I'm just, I play music and stuff, so I just, but I didn't real. it was funny whenever I learned about Keanu Reeves and the band Nate being named Dog Star, and then I got into this occultic crap and then learned, then I was like, oh, well, that makes sense why that dirt bag would be in a band called that. But anyway, sorry, I just kind of went off track there. But anyway, but that could soon be about to change. If an amateur Rus Russian satellite is launched mid-2016 as planned, the satellite is called Mayak. This is a big deal. I'm just not exactly sure what that word means, but I have an idea, but we'll, I'm getting, anyway, I'm sorry. Or beacon in English, it's designed to orbit uh, the opposite the sun and reflect its light using giant sails, making it appear brighter to us than any other stars in the night sky, and according to some reports, potentially even brighter than the moon. Okay, so this is going to be an artificial star. The satellite itself won't actually be doing any observations or scientific work. The goal of, check this out, the goal of the project is quite simply to inspire humanity by creating an artificial star that we can look up to, okay? This is the age-old trick that they've been playing on this for centuries and centuries and centuries, all right, forever. They want us to look to them for the light, you know, Lucifer, the light bearer, all that stuff, right? They want us to look to them for the light so we don't look to ourselves because we have the true light inside of each and every one of us. Kingdom is within and all that good stuff. So once again, just like I showed you that Motel 6, the video a long time ago, Motel 6, the whole, the red and blue, they had the big red six, which is a six is a nine and 96. That's how the fake Jews write Saturn and the fallen angels is 96, 69, all that stuff. And what's Motel 6's logo, their, their, their slogan, I mean, uh, we'll leave the light on for you. Okay. Just look it up. That's because they, they're saying, let us use our light so you don't have to. Okay. So. And it's just funny that you, it just, this automatically, of course, makes me think of this. This is our problem. You know, this is them. This is the light. This is the prism. Now we get this jumbled mess, them screwing up the signal, them screwing up the true light. All right. They just reported on this China doing the same thing. Once again, it's not the Chinese's idea. Okay. Fake Jew, Saturn, scum are all in control of all this crap. China close to creating artificial star. They've been at this for a really, really, really long time. Longer than all this, because here's even an awesome article that uh, Dreams Within Dreams found. I'll put a link below to her channel. She does an awesome job always trying to help put this stuff together. But uh, she just made a video about this a few weeks ago. So it's funny that she wrote or made a video and then just, what was it, yesterday or the day before, yet another story reported about this stuff going down. This is from 1993. And this has been going on, like I said, long before 93. Long, long, long time this has been in the works. Russia's mirror in space reflects the light of the sun into the dark. Unfurling a thin aluminum and plastic mirror in space, Russian scientists and engineers for the first time have sent a narrow beam of reflected sunlight flashing across the darkened side of the Earth. They said the experiment early yesterday proved the feasibility of putting much larger mirrors in space to illuminate areas tens of miles across, blah, 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 okay? So they know that the sun is going to die, it's going to go out, it's going to change, whatever, whatever is going to happen, because I don't really know. I don't, I, I don't know what's going to happen with it, but something is going to happen with the sun. So they have to create another artificial, another artificial star, another artificial light, once again, so we look to their light instead of our own. Okay? And what's, you just, and you just can't make this stuff up. Okay? And this could all just be practice, or maybe there's, or maybe there's going to be multiple suns in the sky, artificial stars in the sky. I don't know. But this could indeed be practice for their grand finale, which is no joke. Just Google it right here like I did. Dreams Within Dreams did this too. She's awesome. I don't care what anybody says, all right? Pick on me if you want to. That's fine. I don't care. 
Let's go to Google. When will Cassini mission end? Right here. Starting in late 2016, Cassini will zip between Saturn and its innermost ring a total of 22 times in a mission phase now known as the Cassini Grand Finale, which will end in September 2017 when the probe intentionally dives into the gas giant's atmosphere. This is known as Project Lucifer, which was called Conspiracy back in 2008. Now it's real deal. Project Lucifer will Cassini turn Saturn into a second sun. Okay, let's get down here. Um, dropping Cassini deep into Saturn at the end of its mission where atmospheric pressures will be so large that it will compress the probe detonating like a nuclear bomb. What's more, this will trigger a chain reaction kick-starting nuclear fusion turning Saturn into a fireball this is what has become known as the Lucifer Project. The second sun will have dire consequences for us on Earth, killing millions from the huge influx of radiation, blah, 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 blah. Okay? So I, I don't know what's going to happen with the sun out there, but something's going to happen with it. And so they are practicing, getting ready, trying to either, either let's, they're getting ready to, to, to create another sun. Isn't this stuff nuts? So once again, Project Lucifer, right? Because that's what Lucifer, the Statue of Liberty, all this stuff is. Look to them for light so we don't look to ourselves. And what's hilarious, man, is that this is going down in September 2017. If I'm not mistaken, create me, or I'm sorry, correct me if I'm wrong, that's the Feast of Trumpets is during that month. And if this, if this sounds a whole lot like a book, the book of Revelation, where they talk about a star falling to earth that burns like a lamp and burns a third of the earth up and all this kind of stuff. And it's just very, it's it's crazy to me. And 2017 is a really big year. According to them, just just type in, like, do Google search yourself and type in, like, um, um, Stargate opening or uh, cycle or something like that. The capitalists believe that in 2017, between this 2017 to 2018 time frame, that there are going to be stargates to open up in this place. Just Google it for yourself. Check it out. It's not me saying it, It's them. And so just for fun, to end this video for fun, let's hear why they say they're going to do this. Why will Cassini impact Saturn in 2017? Biggest load of bullshit I've ever heard. Why will this pioneering spacecraft be sent crashing into the giant gas planet? The main reason is that by 2017, Cassini will have enough fuel to maintain its orbit around Saturn or to report, or excuse me, or, or to reach the required speed to escape Saturn's orbit, let alone the solar system. Although small, there is a chance it would be pulled back into the Saturnian system and impact one of the moons. So, if we plan to one day explore the surface of these moons, which may have some evidence of past or present extraterrestrial life on the surface of such as collision, would contaminate said moon, and possibly give us incorrect data on a future mission. Another reason to send Cassini into Saturn is that it will be a good opportunity to get data from the atmosphere that no probe has gone before. Do you believe that shit? I don't believe that for one second. Well, we're going to do it because in case we want to look for aliens one day on the moons, it will contaminate the bubble. Yeah, or you guys are trying to create another sun to deceive the whole world once again and to keep and maintain control. But, you know... I guess that's just conspiracy, which is funny, like this was back in uh, 2008. We have some very big years ahead of us. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care about year after year after year. Everybody says something's going to happen and nothing ever does. I don't give a shit. That's not because that's because we don't know what we're talking about. We're not in control. We don't realize how important all these time cycles and timelines and all this stuff. They know these dates. We don't. All we can do is speculate. 2015 was indeed a huge year. The last phase of the dollar and the economic and global collapse was when they raised interest rates, and what did they do in December, just as predicted by several people, including myself, was dead on about. They raised interest rates. That was it. That was it. I'm sorry. Just because there weren't any big fireworks or anything like that doesn't mean nothing huge didn't happen. I even showed you a video from CNN itself, you know, even pumping and putting out there, is this the new normal of all the chaos and all the stuff that's going on in the world and in Europe? And yes, it's the new normal. It was a huge year. Just because there wasn't a big collapse and big fireworks doesn't mean that nothing happened. That year is all part of all the other years that are coming. It's all one big grand finale. And when they raised interest rates, that was the final step 
of the collapse. I did videos a long time ago saying there were, the, I can't remember, even remember I think it, it doesn't matter. I'm not even going to say the source because blah, blah, I don't want to hear about it. There were four steps to this global collapse happening. I did a video on this, I think, back in 2013, where it went derivatives, um, uh, trade wars, currency wars, and then rise, then they raise interest rates, and that was the last step. And they did that after seven years in 2015. So we'll see what happens. And whenever you see headlines like creating an artificial star here and creating an artificial star here and and they're going to crash this thing into the gas giant Cassini in September during the Feast of Trumpets, which is clearly seemed to be defined in the Bible, you know, which say what you want. I know a lot of people don't. I'm, it's a good. It's a great way to tell what's going to happen in the future. Say what you want about the book. That's fine. That's a great way to tell what's going to happen in the future. Just saying. I think that I, I'm done. All right. Thank you to my subscribers for the support. I appreciate it. this. Gone has gone on way too long.